Array Antennas, Array Basics, Series on Antennas and Wave Propagation, Lecture Number 3.11. The term array refers to a group of antennas, sometimes identical, sometimes non-identical, operated as a single unit. When a single antenna is unable to fulfill the requirements of uh, an application on hand, people usually go for arrays. Arrays are able to provide more functionality, more utility than single individual antennas. In the present session, the focus is on definition, types, applications, merits and uh, demerits of uh, arrays we describe and uh, explain at length all these aspects of arrays in the present session let us begin the session with uh, a few definitions pertaining to arrays when several antennas connected together behave as if they were a single antenna then the combination is called array antenna array array means lineup Literal meaning of antenna array is a line up of several antennas. Formally, an array can be defined as a group of similar antennas, similarly oriented. This is formal definition, meaningful definition, scientific definition. Similar antennas. When pattern is similar, the antennas are called similar antennas. Similarly oriented means they are looking towards a point which is far away from the antennas. Several different types of arrays are in use. When the elements of the array are over a straight line, the array is called a linear array. When individual antennas are over a straight line, then the resultant array is called a linear array. When the elements are placed over a plane in the form of two-dimensional grid, then they are called planar array. Arrays. When individual antennas are over a plane in the form of two-dimensional grid, then such a arrays are called planar arrays. If the elements are placed over a circle, the array is called a circular array or a ring array, which is also a planar array. Here the point is, circular array is not linear array, it is planar array. In this array, elements are placed in a circular manner some more definitions when the locations of elements cover some volume then such arrays are called three dimensional arrays linear arrays are single dimensional planar arrays are uh, two dimensional now volume arrays are three dimensional arrays they are having they are covering certain amount of volume dipole array agiwada antenna Agivada antenna is a dipole array. It belongs to the first category whereas the ring array to the second category. Array formed with stacked rhombic antennas belong to the third type. Agi antenna, it is a linear array. Ring array, it belongs to second category, planar array. Array formed with stacked rhombic antennas it is volume array or three dimensional array category a linear array becomes uniform if the elements are equally spaced along a straight line with the excitation currents of uh, same amplitude with a linear phase progression a linear array becomes uniform only when certain conditions are satisfied what are they elements must be spaced equally they must be placed along a straight line with excitation currents of same amplitude with a linear phase progression. After uh, covering definitions, now we move to discuss features of uh, arrays, visible characteristics of uh, arrays. Apart from being important antennas on their own right, the linear arrays have significance in the analysis of planar arrays. They are considered as building blocks of planar array elements. Planar array may be thought of as a 
linear array of linear arrays point is this to understand the functioning of a linear array we need to have the behavior of individual elements of that array in our hand overall behavior of the linear array can be understood only when behavior of individual elements of the array are available to us so starting point here is nature of individual elements of the array to understand the nature of the linear array in the same way when it comes to planar array to understand or to analyze a planar array what is required is the behavior of uh, linear arrays with which this planar array is made up of so individual linear arrays can be considered as elements of planar array and uh, the total behavior of the planar array then can be found from the behavior of individual linear arrays with the array antennas it is possible to have what are the benefits with the array antennas why people go for array antennas reasons independent and multiple beams pattern control potential for uh, large transmitted power rapid and inertia less beam steering electronic stabilization of beam convenient aperture shape prevention of catastrophic degradation these are all benefits which we can accrue by going for uh, the use of uh, array antennas independent and multiple beams one can have more than one independent beams from a single array each one of these beams can be operated independent of all other beams in effect it is like having several antennas operating independently hence an array antenna can work effectively as several independent antennas pattern control it is possible to have less beam width more beam width and also possible to control locations of uh, nulls levels of side lobes and such kind of facilities are possible with uh, array antennas it is a great advantage potential for large transmitted power more power can be radiated if the array antenna is uh, working in a transmitting mode more radiated power means more link range lesser number of repeaters an advantage rapid and inertia less beam steering beam steering in earlier days used to be in a mechanical manner but with the uh, arrays it is possible to perform steering in an electronic manner this electronic beam steering is associated with the, the benefits of uh, rapidity and uh, inertia lessness electronic stabilization is uh, another benefit uh, of a beam from array antennas convenient aperture shape prevention of catastrophic degradation these are all benefits and uh, these aspects can be had only from array antennas individual antennas they are not able to provide even some of these things further in features controls there exists five factors that can be used to shape the overall pattern of array as per our requirement these are important aspects five factors which are in the hands of a design engineer so that overall pattern of the array gives a performance as per our requirements as per the requirements of application on hand what are these five factors first one relative excitation amplitude of individual elements otherwise in normal terms currents that are fed relative values of currents that are fed into individual array elements relative excitation phases of individual elements 
the currents that are being fed into the elements they are associated with phases relative phases of these currents spacing of the elements the distance between one element and uh, the other element relative pattern of individual elements arrays are made up with uh, individual antennas these individual antennas must be having their own pattern relative pattern of individual elements last one is geometrical arrangement of elements in the array formation the elements may be placed uh, in a straight line they may be placed over a plane they may be placed uh, in the form of a circle they may be placed uh, in a triangular form so geometrical arrangement plays an important role in fulfilling the requirements of the application on hand so these five controls they give us certain freedom they give us a scope for us to arrange the things in such a way that our uh, gives pattern as we require it as we need it advantages of uh, arrays the most important and highly useful features of antenna arrays are their capability to provide higher gains shaped patterns steerable beams these three are uh, most important uh, aspects features of uh, arrays they are able to provide uh, more gain than by a single antenna more gain means more transmitted power more transmitted power means more range link range more link range means lesser number of repeaters the system becomes less costly so arrays are able to make communication systems less costly less expensive another useful feature is shaped pattern arrays are able to provide patterns with a low side lobe level low back lobes narrow beam widths or broader beam widths as per our requirement we can have the pattern satisfying our requirement this is a great advantage when we go for array antennas another aspect is steerable beams the orientation of a beam it can be altered in radar applications while searching for the target the beam requires to be changed in a continuous manner in its orientation in earlier days it was done by mechanical means but uh, after the advent of antenna arrays it is being done in an electronic manner while uh, beam steering is done in an electronic uh, method <clears throat> there exists no physical movement in the antenna physically antenna remains unmoved only beams orientation gets changed and it is affected through electronic means these three are great uh, advantages pertaining to arrays these three provide a kind of true versatility to arrays by controlling the magnitude and phase of uh, the signal feeding each antenna individually it is possible to shape uh, the radiation pattern of the array and to steer the direction of the beam electronically electronic beam steering it is possible only with arrays here is given uh, all the things <coughs> at one place controls and uh, benefits of arrays as already mentioned five controls are there excitation amplitude excitation phase element pattern element spacing geometrical arrangement these are five controls that are associated with the antenna arrays by varying uh, these uh, controls one can have desired pattern or at least uh, nearly desired pattern already mentioned merits are more gain tailor made pattern pattern as per our requirement beam steering electronic beam steering these are advantages applications of arrays apart from am broadcasting array elements are used in a large number of applications such as radio astronomy space and terrestrial telecommunications but undoubtedly it is the radar 
that has played a prominent role in the development of arrays. They are also used as a conformal array antennas mounted over the surface of modern aircraft to reduce the drag and fuel consumption. Over the has been repeated. So several applications are there. Modern communication systems, they are all using uh, arrays. There are certain uh, shortcomings uh, with uh, arrays, they are mentioned here. The major problem with the arrays is mutual coupling between elements resulting in changed radiation pattern and radiation resistance. Large coupling results in poor pattern, increase the side lobe level and mismatch between antennas and transmitting or receiving circuits. These are uh, shortcomings. Not many, few. All these uh, are a result of mutual coupling that exists between elements of the array. Now, <clears throat> we focus on uniform linear array. Array means several individual antennas being operated as a single unit. Linear means when the elements are placed over a straight line. Uniform means currents being fed into the elements are same amplitude wise there may be some phase progression linear phase progression here is it is shown element 0 element 1 we can call element 0 as first element element 1 as second element element 2 as third element like that so 0 1 2 etc last one is element n minus 1 so this is the n element array n element linear array of non-directional radiators non-directional means isotropic they are radiating equally in all directions each individual antenna or element here is an isotropic one currents i0 i alpha i2 alpha notice amplitudes of currents they are same but their phase is increasing zero alpha two alpha like that it is increasing center of the array this is center of the array there may be an element at the center of the array there may not be an element here is observation point p the distance between observation point and the center of the array it is usually indicated by small r the angle between length of the array this is length of the array and radial vector a radial distance this r is radial distance uh, point if we add a direction to it it becomes a radial vector radial vector the angle between length of the array and the radial vector that angle is denoted by phi this is standard symbol distance between antenna elements it is uh, indicated by small d these are all standard symbols now some more points uh, some more terms are also introduced here Array phase function, observation angle, phase progression, element spacing, number of elements. Let us begin with uh, simple things. N is a standard symbol to denote number of elements. D is a standard symbol to denote element spacing. Alpha is a standard symbol to indicate excitation phase progression. Here you can see here is alpha, 2 alpha, n minus 3 alpha, n minus 2 alpha, n minus 1 alpha, etc. Excitation phase progression. Alpha can be 0 to, we are going to see. Phi is, here is phi, it is called observation angle. Angle between array and observation point. Now, array phase function. What is array phase function? This expression, beta d cos phi plus alpha. Alpha is already defined, phi is already defined, d is already introduced. What is beta? Beta is 2 pi by lambda. Phase shift function. Lambda corresponds to wavelength, corresponds to frequency at which the array is operated. Psi is called array phase function. One or two points regarding the importance of uh, array phase function. When the array is working, each individual elements of the array start radiating. Let us say the array is in a transmitting mode. And hence, every element starts radiating. Radiation is a wave. The waves radiated by individual elements, they start traveling in different directions. A part of each wave, individual wave, 
moves towards observation point also to reach the observation point this wave path has to travel certain distance different waves from different elements they need to travel different distances we can notice here from second element from third element wave travels and reaches point p but notice the distance is not same waves travel different distances this is one aspect the second aspect is uh, in the beginning itself waves from uh, second element and the third element they have certain phase difference which is equal to alpha so now the point is when these two waves reach observation point or field point p they have certain phase difference between them that phase difference is array phase function it is given by beta d cos phi plus alpha some more points regarding uniform linear arrays amplitude and phase of total field intensity et can be found as this is amplitude this is phase mod et is mod e naught sin n psi by 2 by sin psi by 2 this is amplitude this is phase angle et is n minus 1 psi by 2 what is et this is array let us suppose it is being operated as a transmitting antenna here is a point field point p it is at a distance of r ok when it is radiating here at point p there exists certain field radiation field what is that field that field is given by these two expressions first expression gives amplitude second expression gives phase phase of that field how these two expressions are arrived at simple using superposition principle this is first element it gives rise to certain field intensity here this is second element it gives rise to certain field intensity here this is third element it gives rise to certain field intensity here this is nth element it gives rise to certain field intensity here by adding all these field intensities by taking their phases also into consideration we get field intensity at field point p due to the entire array the expression for the field intensity is shown here now pattern of individual elements e naught is called unit pattern it is a factor e naught multiplied by another factor sin n psi by 2 by sin psi by 2 <clears throat> what is e naught unit pattern what is unit pattern array means several elements consider one element this element must be having its own pattern the pattern may be like this something like of course this expression is for an array of uh, identical radiating elements so each uh, element must be having same pattern the pattern of the element is unit pattern magnitude of it is called amplitude pattern the product e naught sin psi by 2 by sin n psi by 2 by sin psi by 2 that is called amplitude pattern array factor is uh, which multiplies unit pattern to give amplitude pattern so this is unit pattern second one is array factor this 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 particular expression is array factor the phase of it is called phase pattern phase center is phase reference which makes the phase pattern independent of direction this is a, a popular question phase center what is phase center it is a phase reference which makes the phase pattern independent of direction notice this expression angle et n minus 1 psi by 2 it is obtained by considering the one end as reference phase reference if we consider some other point let us say center point of the array we get a different expression for phase pattern we may consider another end as phase reference then phase pattern changes so phase pattern is different for different phase references when phase pattern is zero that particular phase reference is called phase center some more points regarding uh, linear uniform arrays in case of isotropic element array the normalized array factor and normalized amplitude pattern are same it is a periodic function of psi with the periodicity equal to 2 pi and is symmetrical about psi equal to pi 
the array factor assumes maximum value of n when psi by 2 is equal to plus or minus m of i where m equal to 0 1 2 3 the array factor exhibits a number equal to n minus 1 lobes in side domain out of them the largest one is main lobe and the remaining n minus 2 smaller ones are called side lobes as n number of elements uh, increases the number of side loops also increases the number of nulls in the pattern is n minus 1 in side domain this slide is mostly about array factor array factor has already been introduced what is normalized array factor if we divide maximum value of array factor by sorry if we divide array factor by its uh, maximum value the resultant is called a normalized array factor normalized array factor and a normalized amplitude pattern normalized amplitude pattern is amplitude pattern divided by its maximum value these two are same when array is made with isotropic elements okay array factor is a periodic function of psi periodicity is equal to 2 pi symmetrical about psi equal to pi and some more interesting important aspects are also mentioned here in this slide some more features the width of the main lobe in psi domain can be found equal to 4 pi over n whereas that of minor lobe is 2 pi over n in psi domain direction of maximum radiation psi by 2 is equal to plus plus or minus m by where m equal to 0 1 2 3 principal maximum corresponds to psi equal to 0 grating lobes corresponds to psi by 2 equal to plus or minus m pi directions of no radiation or nulls correspond to n psi by 2 equal to plus plus or minus m pi where m equal to 1 2 3 etc but not n 2n 3n etc directions of uh, secondary maxima correspond to n psi over 2 equal to plus or minus 2k plus 1 pi by 2 where k equal to 1 2 3 etc directions of the side lobe maxima are midway between nulls in side domain not in phi domain what is all these things array factor is uh, this one sin n psi by 2 by sin psi by 2 this expression varies its value varies with the psi sometimes it assumes maximum value sometimes it becomes zero sometimes it assumes a value which is uh, in between maximum and zero so it is a variable thing when it assumes maximum it gives a direction of maximum radiation when it assumes uh, zero for certain values of psi it assumes zero what are those values of psi when n psi over 2 is equal to plus or minus m pi then this quantity becomes zero so field intensity et it becomes zero when it is zero there is no it implies there is no radiation in that direction so maximum radiation nil radiation intermediate radiation directions of intermediate radiation they are given by this condition n psi by n psi over 2 is plus or minus 2k plus 1 pi by 2 so lot of information one can have from this expression array factor so array factor notice is an important uh, parameter in the analysis of uh, arrays some more features directions of half power points n psi over 2 is plus or minus 1.391 amplitude of principal maximum it is n amplitude of secondary maxima it is given by 2n over 2k plus 1 pi normalized amplitudes of secondary maxima in db are 20 log 2 by 2k plus 1 pi now modes a few points regarding modes there are uh, two modes prominent modes another mode is also there of course if you consider that then three modes one is broadside mode here is array if the radiation is normal to the length of the array then it is called broadside mode array is said to be working in broadside mode if a maximum radiation is along the length of the array then the array is said to be in end fire mode in addition to these two modes third mode is also is there it is called end fire with uh, increased directivity end fire with increased directivity mode is the same as end fire mode except for that uh, 
it offers more directivity more gain than ordinary and fire the information pertaining to these uh, modes are given here uniform linear arrays array phase function is given by psi equal to beta d cos phi plus alpha maximum radiation can, can be along uh, phi equal to zero phi zero corresponds to length of the array direction along the length of the array in such case alpha becomes equal to minus beta d maximum radiation as already mentioned can be normal to length of the array the direction of the radiation is uh, indicated by phi equal to 90 degrees the array is said to be in broadside mode for such mode alpha is zero phase progression is zero as already mentioned and fire with the id mode is also there for this mode also direction of maximum radiation is along the length of the array that is phi equal to zero for this mode to come into being phase progression requires to be minus beta d plus phi by n some more modes also are introduced here maximum radiation can be along phi equal to 180 degrees that is opposite to the length of the array this is length of the array direction opposite means in this direction this direction is indicated by phi equal to 180 degrees it is also called end fire mode but maybe most or more apt term is backfire so backfire mode of operation comes into being when alpha equal to beta d when alpha is minus beta d it is ordinary end fire when alpha is beta d it is backfire backfire with id mode is also there in this mode maximum radiation is along phi equal to 180 but uh, of course more uh, directivity appears in this mode than given by backfire or end fire mode in this case alpha is phase progression is equal to beta d plus pi by n with this we come to an end of this session in this session arrays are uh, introduced definitions types merits demerits advantages applications controls modes all are described and explained hope this session is useful to you we meet again with a new topic in another session soon